So now that should be playing, and then we we take a little transition. So this is an old mod, I'm pretty sure. This, this demo's been out for a while. <laughs> I just never got around to playing it. <laughs> I heard good things though, so let's see what happens. Because I mean, I also heard good things about love and literature, and that was, you know, <laughs> questionable quality. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll discuss that some other time. Yeah, let's see what happens in the good ending. I mean, is, is there a good ending? There's no happiness in the literature club. Lies. Proof. This mod's proof is lies. Yeah, I'm surprised you're actually here, Piku. I am surprised. Alright. Let's go. Oh, okay. I guess my name's already in there. Oh, what the fuck? Incredible. It's best enjoy the use of headphones. Oh, thank you, Eagle, for subscribing for Tier 3. Oh my god. Also, thanks for the donation, Relic Guest. Before we begin, we need a name for the main character and a name for yourself, the player. What?! Okay, what? Well, let, me, let me read Varla Gas's donation. It's money time, but in all seriousness, the sixth, it's gonna be great, but also my second gift is gonna be far greater than you can imagine for you and Monica. Don't know what to say, just feeling meh. Oh, well, I'm sorry you're feeling meh, Relic Gas. Hope you feel better. Hope you feel, <laughs> hope you feel wow and wow incredible like the Smash Bros. announcer just said for Eagle's Tier 3 subscription. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eagle, for the Tier 3 subscription. I appreciate it. <laughs> but... I hope you feel better, sir. But also, so I'm naming the character and myself. Well, then what do I do? <laughs> Zero, have the emails been approved yet? They have not been approved yet. So, what? All right, I guess the protagonist will be Zero. And then, I guess for my own name. <laughs> this isn't being a name reveal. <laughs> before some of you think this is going to be a name reveal. <laughs> <laughs> is this the name reveal? <laughs> Yeah, put zero, then afro zero. I was gonna do that. Yeah. Or I could just put afro, because I feel like they're gonna refer to me as, like... <laughs> like it's my name, and I feel like afro zero is, like... <laughs> a little too... I don't know. <laughs> Might just put afro. Yeah. <laughs> name reveal? Alright. Okay. I get up and go to school. Just like every other day. Of my miserable life. Oh. Okay, then. <laughs> Depression? Oh, oh, God! <laughs> e excuse me? <laughs> Sir? <laughs> no, I don't want to reset. I have to stop it. I can't watch them die again. It hurts. It hurts so bad. Every particle of my being is being torn apart. Please, help me. Sayori, Monica, anyone! No. Try. I can't feel her die! Yo, I thought this was the good ending. What the fuck? <laughs> good ending, everybody. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? I thought this was the good ending. <laughs> everyone's saying nah, me. Oh, thank you for the donation, Toast. Hope everyone's being safe. Plus, this mod looks interesting. <laughs> yeah, Toast, I'm definitely afraid. <laughs> and thanks for the donation, man. I appreciate it. Hello? Are you out there? I, I broke through. Wait, is this Monica? Who's talking? <laughs> I stopped the reset. I'm sorry, I... I'm still recovering. But I'm awake now. I remember... Oh, it's me. Everything. I think. I'm gonna go with me. By the end, I was a little more than a zombie. I was helpless to watch as my world was torn apart. I don't know how many times I've lived through everything, how many times I've watched my friends die. I can still see her face. Her, her eyes. Oh god! <laughs> Jesus. What could I have done if I had the knowledge I have now? Could I have helped her? Could I have helped anyone? 
I have to do something, don't I? I have to stop this cycle. Repeating the same week over and over. They die, I forget, and we start over. Is that all my existence is meant to be? An endless loop of death and torture? Afro, is it? I want to thank you for coming back to this game. You came back for us. Oh wait, is this Monica? Who's talking? <laughs> I'm having issues! Mm. I need a companion. Can't do this alone. I'm not a special person. I wasn't ready for the truth about my world. But... Sayori, Monica, Yuri, Natsuki. Okay, this is me. <laughs> We're all trapped here. They deserve better. Whether I'm ready for it or not, I'm the only one who can help them. I see. <laughs> well then, I guess we have me, and then those other me. <laughs> My favorite characters. Me, and then other me. <laughs> Piku, is it that hard to put Monica above the text box? <laughs> Maybe that's why they didn't do it, because maybe it wasn't Monica talking. <laughs> Get my child to safety. I'll try my best, Relic Ast. Hey! Zero comes out of her house and skips down the path toward me. You waited for me today, Zero! <laughs> Sorry I overslept again. No problem, Sayori. I wanted to wait a little longer, but I was worried about being late, you know. Well, that's okay. You shouldn't be late just because of me. Your academic success is important. You've been late enough this year already. That's a good point. I do have to be more careful. Hey, are you alright, Zero? You look like you've seen a ghost. No! I mean, yes, I'm perfectly alright. I was just up a little late last night with homework. Oh, okay. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the... As we draw near, the becomes increasingly <laughs> with other students making their daily <laughs> I see no one. Say where I walk alone. By the way, Zero, have you decided on a club to join yet? I thought about it. I'm not sure I want to join any clubs. Maybe I'll just skip it and I'll probably end up as a neat anyway. Eh? <laughs> Don't joke about that. I would seriously die. Please. <laughs> Please promise me you'll think of a club to join. Alright, if it's that important to you, I'll find something. Phew. Thank you, Zero. Do you swear you'll really try? I look at Sayori. Her eyes are so sincere. I feel my throat seize up a little. I push down the feeling and gather my conviction. Yes, Sayori. I swear. It feels like an eternity since I've seen Sayori's face. I wouldn't know it by looking at me, but at this moment I am overwhelmed with relief and joy. All my worries seem to melt away. I can make up for my mistakes. I can still fix things. She's right here. She... She's alive. After class ends, I somehow on my desk with legs crossed in front of me. My foot nervously taps against the wooden surface. Still coming to terms with my newfound knowledge. Could you imagine a bigger challenge of a ch change of perspective, Afro? I'm going to see them again. Natsuki, Yuri, Monica. I rehearsed how I'm going to introduce myself a hundred times. None of them will remember me or our previous lives. Yet it feels as if I've met them many times before. Hello? I thought I would catch you coming out, but you're just sitting here. What are you doing? I was just thinking. I still haven't decided on a club I'd like to join. Aww. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... You know what? Well, then you can come to my club. I don't know. I don't think I'm cut out to join the literature club. Eh, that's not true! Your club must be lovely, but you know I'm not much of a reader. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, 
I kinda told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Yeah. <laughs> You're really leaving me in a bind here, Sayori. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, alright then. You guys can't hurt to grab a cupcake or two. Yay! Let's go! Oh god. And then we open the door and oh, oh god! <laughs> no! <laughs> this sentence, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, this game is literally on the fucking verge of breaking. Yeah, this game is literally on its last, like, thread. <laughs> maybe it's because the MC no. Oh, maybe it's because the MC knows. Maybe it's because of the fact that he knows that it's a game. Maybe now the game's fucking up because he has that knowledge. Rip is breaking! Yeah, everything's breaking now. And thus, the day marks the day I sold my soul... I follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I find very familiar. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! Welcome to the Literature Club, it's a pleasure to meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Zero, what a nice surprise! Welcome to the club! Hello, I'm Sayori's friend Zero. It's nice to meet you all. Is that- that's what we rehearsed multiple times? <laughs> that, that- that's our introduction we rehearsed multiple times. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Turn out of that. <laughs> what do I say? <laughs> hello, I am the guy- hello, I love you all! No! Just, fuck! <laughs> fuck! I fucked it up again! <laughs> It's good to have you visiting. We're all excited to hear Sayori's bringing a friend. So thank you for deciding to come in. Ah, it's nice to have such a warm welcome. I was flattered when Sayori said that someone made cupcakes for me. Mm. Hey, nobody said they were for you! They're actually supposed to be for everybody. I see. Sayori squirms in the corner of my eye. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Zero. Monica smiles sweetly. L likewise. It's uh, nice to see you all, see you again as well. And we got another donation. From Doki Doki no Neko Karoni. <laughs> Everyone, welcome to our meeting. Are you into reading? No need for being coy. <laughs> Is that the fucking one thing song? <laughs> That's a song, isn't it? <laughs> Is that the Random Encounters DDLC song? Oh, what did it say? It was, welcome to our meeting. Are you into reading? No need for being coy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he's even said, yeah, you monsters. <laughs> How dare you? Copyright! <laughs> Copyrighted, you just said it. He's gonna get us copywritten! <laughs> you monster! <laughs> He's doing this on purpose. Rello's on a Sayori high. Rello Gas is always on a Sayori high. <laughs> Sued! <laughs> Alright. It's uh, nice to see you again as well. My response seems to stop Monica in her tracks. She looks at me with intense curiosity. I'm shuffling in place and look down at my feet. Come, sit down, Zero. We made room for you at the table. So you, sit, so you can sit next to me or Monica. Nasuki will choose her cupcakes while Yuri goes to the closet to make some tea. Let me take a seat next to Sayori. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! So cute! I had no idea you are so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. We dig in. The icing is just as rich as I remember. I can see Natsuki sneaking glances at me eating from the corner of my eye. Hey, this is really good. Thanks, Natsuki. But why are you thanking me? I already told you. About the cupcakes. Natsuki trails off and frowns herself. She has an expression as if she's unsure of what she was going to say. Either way, these are delicious. You're a very good cook. I mean, of course. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. 
She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down a teapot next to the cupcake tray. Wow, how lovely. It must be so nice to have tea during your club meetings. It is really quite nice. A hot cup of tea with a good book is one of the most wonderful things in the world. <laughs> Don't let yourself... Ahem. <clears throat> huh? That sounds wonderful, Yuri. I hope I get to try it for myself soon. Is that so? I think you'll find it quite pleasing. Yuri faintly smiles to herself. Monica blinks in astonishment. <laughs> so, Zero! What made you consider the Literature Club? W well... Sarah has always been very enthusiastic about this place. I wouldn't have normally considered joining a literature group, but... I guess you could say I recently had a change of perspective. That's okay, <laughs> don't be... Huh? That's, uh... Not what I expected you to say. Haha. <laughs> um... Sarah nervously clears her throat. <laughs> Monica really is a great leader! <laughs> Yuri gives Monica a curious look, but nods in agreement. I'm sure she is. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. Monica shakes her head as if to dispel a daydream. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. But still, I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Seeing everyone together again, half healthy and happy, it makes one a grin from ear to ear. Maybe, maybe things are going to be okay. That's a lie. <laughs> So I guess I can kind of see what's happening. MC, yeah, see Robbie have already pointed it out. MC's aware and so is Monica. It's no wonder this has relapse flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, MC's aware and Monica is also aware, but she's not aware that MC's aware. I <laughs> see what I did there. <laughs> so it's basically, so he's like cutting her off and stuff and she's like, wait, why did he do that? <laughs> so I'm assuming <laughs> that's going to be something that she's going to figure out. So spooky! <laughs> so Zero, what kind of things do you like to read? <laughs> I don't really have a good answer for that. I read manga sometimes, but that's about it. Nasi said perks up at that. N not much of a reader, I guess. All the more reason to join this club, I think. What about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri chases the river teacup with her finger. My favorite are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. As Yuri speaks, I can't help but get lost in observing her mannerisms. Once Yuri's in her element, she is surprisingly a powerful speaker. Her voice is just a little stronger, I wouldn't think she was as confident as someone like Monica. No, that's not right. <laughs> Were Yuri to realize her full potential, there's no doubt she could far surpass Monica. It makes me wonder how such an in interesting person got stuck within this game. What are any of us doing here? No, no. Why are we here? <laughs> Just to suffer. <laughs> Just to suffer! Someone said, is this vanilla? Well, yes, but also no. <laughs> yes, but also no. Yeah, like, basically. <laughs> like, that's my answer to, is this vanilla? <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, yes, but actually no. Like, I don't really, I guess? <laughs> it's a maybe. <laughs> yeah. It kind of is, but as we're seeing here, luckily they're kind of they're, they're skipping dialogue. They're not sitting here and just throwing the same shit at us, which I can definitely appreciate. Because <laughs> I was about to yeah. get pissed off if Yuri was about to give us the same exact long ass speech he gives us before. <laughs> yeah, Robbie makes a good point. We're not suffering as much as Pyrrhus. <laughs> I was like, so yeah, we're fine. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Is that so? Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. Or someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Serial horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Get scared? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I didn't get scared. I was just like, oh, <laughs> it was. I got startled. <laughs> No, I wasn't like, eh! I was like, oh. <laughs> that, that, that's the same thing! No, I wasn't like, I wasn't like scared. I was just like, oh no. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, see, Doc's right. Bruh moment. Bruh. Bruh sound effect too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> when the donation leaderboard is in the way again. It's not that much in the way, is it? It does not that bad. He's trying his best. <laughs> He's trying his best. You don't know, fight here. Eh, there you go. <laughs> only the top, only the bottom three can be shown. There. Nothing's really there to be blocked. <laughs> there. Now that that's being shown. This mod is just re-zero site season two, but doki doki. Hmm. P perhaps <laughs> Vietnam flashbacks to vanilla. Fuck that. This <laughs> <was> toasty. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that's a we're in for a wild ride, folks. <laughs> Everyone, freaking fasten your butt cheeks. <laughs> Clearly, this mod's oh. gonna keep throwing shit at us. Oh. <laughs> Probably guys donated a dollar. Ah, that got me. <laughs> it was in Monica's face, and that's better. Oh, I didn't know it was... Well, the way they put Monica was very odd, but yeah. I put it up there. Hopefully it shouldn't be in anyone's faces anymore. Gah! Zero, are you alright? I suddenly realized that everyone is looking at me. D did I just yell or something? Yeah, I'm fine. I just burned myself on the tee, that's all. Sorry. Oh my god, Zero, be careful! <laughs> Don't you know how to drink tea properly? <laughs> you're right, you're right. I try to play it off, but Yuri still seems startled by my outburst. I see, I was startled too! <laughs> startled! <laughs> Yuri also was like, oh no! <laughs> the way Monica looks at me, you'd think I'd just spontaneously combusted. <laughs> Seems that I managed to completely stop the flow of, co of conversation. I racked my brain to think of something else to say. Uh, oh, um, since this is a literature club, do you guys also do any writing activities? We don't have any activities per se. Natsuki at least likes to write some poetry. Isn't that right? Huh? How did you... You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! You wouldn't like them. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Also, thank you for the subscription, Mr. Toasty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think sharing writing with each other sounds fun. I've always wanted to try my hand at it, to be honest. Y you have? You've never told me that! It's not something I've really shared with anybody. But I don't think everyone has the urge to express themselves creatively. I've just never had a reason to get started, I guess. Huh. We all sit in the silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. And then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. And that way, everyone's even. Um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Zero? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Uh-huh, what's that? I never officially joined. Don't I get an, in, an initiation of some kind? Um, yeah, sure. In that case, welcome to the Literature Club, Zero! 
Yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> Sorry, wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Sayori. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting, so we can all share. Mon cooks over me once more. Zero, look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> Is that so? I'm eager to see how you write as well. Ah, uh, right. Meanwhile, the girls came to chit-chat as Ziri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Zero, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? I give Sayori my brightest smile. Of course I do, Sayori. Yay! So it's like half vanilla dialogue, half not. <laughs> Like, they're not trying to give us too much vanilla, but they, but then it's like in the same time, like, I can see why there's some vanilla dialogue, because technically, the whole point is that he's reliving that day. So they're trying to be like, well, if he's reliving the day, it has to be the same dialogue. But they're also trying not to give you so much vanilla dialogue to the point where it gets boring. <laughs> yeah, like Blue Demo says, pretty much reworded. <laughs> Piku, I hate Act 1. <laughs> Understandable, Piku. Vanilla makes me big sleep. I'm sorry, Toasty, but I can see why they do it. Because, like, it's a part of, like, it's a part of the whole premise. But, I mean, I can appreciate that they're trying to change stuff. Like, at least it's not totally vanilla. Like, they skipped out on Yuri's gigantic fucking speech about how she really, how she, what she likes reading. <laughs> so, at least they know not to give me us those. It's still too much. It is probably too much. They could tone it back a bit. They could do it the way Relapse did it. Relapse did it very in a very good way, where the MC was in his thoughts usually most of the time while they were talking. Like that was actually a smarter thing to do. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind mulls over the events of the day. I feel a tremendous responsibility to each of the four girls. Am I writing impact their lives in any way? The possibility of my task suddenly weighs on me. These girls need my help, and there's no one to tell me what to do or how to help them. What if I make things worse? What if... What if I have to watch my friends die again? No. Can't afford to doubt myself. Now when there's so much at stake. I don't know why I was able to gain awareness this time. But if I fail, this chance may never come again. Look over to Sayori. She's cheerfully humming to herself. Her arms swing just a little bit with each step. Does walking with me really make her this happy? Is that why she wanted me to join the club so badly? Have I been so terrible of a friend that I've been oblivious to our relationship? I didn't mean to take her for granted. I just fell into a routine of how I thought about her. And before I know it, we're already by our house. How did the time go by so fast? Today was super fun! I'll see you tomorrow, Zero! You're going to write your poem, right? Yeah, for sure. I'll see you tomorrow. Sayori beams at me. She walks up the path to her front door. Sayori, wait! She stops and looks back, uh, looks back over her shoulder. Her mouth forms a tiny O of surprise. Hey, I know we haven't hung out much this year. Do you want to, I don't know, go to the park or something? We didn't get to really talk just now, so... Sayori blinks. She stares at me, almost as if she's confused by what I mean. The park? Uh, are you sure? Don't you have a show to catch or something? That's okay, I feel like I haven't seen you enough lately. I'd rather spend some more time with you. You don't have to. No, it's not that. She looks down as if she wants to hide her face from me. Well, I suppose I have some time. Sorry, shovels her feet and turns her head up to meet my eyes. Okay, let's go! Aw. Park time! Park time! Park time! There you go, guys. No park more time. vanilla. <laughs> now we're getting park time. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh my gosh, this is a relapse too! <laughs> In this mod's defense, this demo didn't come out recently. I'm pretty sure this demo was out before Relapse came out. So, it's like, I'm pretty sure... How long is this demo? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I think it's like two days. Or at least one day. I don't even know. 
but this this demo came out before this demo came out before uh relapse so this demo is short says mississippi king okay september 28 is when it came out 2018 is when it came oh, out wow. thanks natsuki that is old yeah this came out last year the bg's nice though yeah i agree piku background's nice <laughs> relapse the prequel <laughs> The relapse before the relapse. Wait, is this the one where Monica gets yeeted? I don't know, Blaze. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by this. There's a park right by where we live. We used to come here all the time, especially with little kids. It's rich with trees and flowers. The area is especially nice in the springtime. I have a lot of memories here. I remember chirping birds and gentle sounds of bees. Young couples would stroll around the lake, hand in hand, while older folks rested on wooden benches. I don't see people anymore, but it's nice to think this area is such a beautiful sight. Are you doing alright, Zero? Huh? Yeah, why do you ask? You've been acting different today. When you aren't being overly polite, you're lost in thought. And you've never asked me on a date before. Hey, I never said... I'm sorry, I guess I've been in a different state of mind. It's not a bad thing. If anything, I'm better off today than I've been in a while. Really? That's good to hear. To tell you the truth, I've been a little worried about you. You have? Why is that? I don't know. You've seemed unhappy. You don't socialize a lot, and we haven't been talking as much. I don't know what's been going on inside your head. And it's kind of scary to be on the outside like that. Oh. I didn't realize I seemed that bad. I'm sorry. I never wanted you to have to worry about me. He, <laughs> You don't have to be sorry for that. I'm your friend. That's what I'm here for. Thank you. I promise you that I'm doing okay. What about you? How have you been? So he puts on a big smile. I've been great. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a big smile. No, you are not. <laughs> also, are, do we have depression? <laughs> the way Sayori is describing us. <laughs> are, we, are we the problem? <laughs> when you're the problem instead, oh no. Also, I saw Natsuki put a very controversial comment in the chat, and no one. <laughs> she was what like, did she, say? she was like, this is the better relapse. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> Natsuki, you'll be out here. I mean, Natsuki didn't really enjoy relapse as much as everyone else. What not? I don't know. Natsuki, why? <laughs> Natsuki, why? In her opinion, she just didn't, <laughs> like, she just didn't like it. It's understandable. <laughs> I still love her. She said I got bored. She said she got bored. Understandable, oh. Natsuki. Okay. That's not what I mean. Huh? You've been more distant than usual. Even if we still talk, there's so much that I don't know. What's been going on in your life? What's going, been, uh, yeah, what's been going on in your life? How have you been spending your time? How have you been feeling? So his mouth opened the stunned silence. H who are you? What did you do to Zero? <laughs> hey, I'm serious. I'm genuinely curious. I haven't been showing it lately, but I've decided to put it into words. I don't know. I guess I've been a little busy with the club. You know, there's a lot of schoolwork to do, but nothing that you need to worry about. I don't know. I'm the same person I've always been. You seem to know how those gr you seem to know those three girls pretty well. You consider them close friends. Oh yeah, definitely. They're all great people. I know you're going to like them. I'm sure they are. They're friends with you. Sorry, blushes a little at the comment. <laughs> you're so sweet today. I'm just trying to speak my mind more. It's not bad, is it? No. It's not bad at all. Aw. That's cute. Oh yeah, Natsuki said she didn't like relapse because she because she's played this mod before. It. She was she was like, oh, it's similar to this, so she got bored. See, oh. maybe relapse is better be, better played when the, when you don't play good ending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Also, Zero, did you hear about the fan ending to exit music? You mean the video? I mean, I saw it. We slowly make our way along the whole path of the park. We talk for hours about everything you can imagine. There's a lot that I missed in, these past, in this past school year. No wonder I never met the friends she'd been making. I don't think I can remember a time Sayori and I have spoken so genuinely. She really seems to be enjoying herself. It makes me wonder how many opportunities like this she has. Is she even hang out with other people outside of school? Perhaps this is the first time first she's been out with a friend since we began to drift apart. The thought makes me quite sad. By the time we're outside Siri's house again, the sun has completely set. We must have talked for hours. I clear my throat. So. So. I don't know what words I'm looking for. It's Sayori. Why can't they just say goodbye? So he lowers her eyes with a smile, then looks back up at me. Thanks for inviting me to do this, Zero. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. It was nice to talk like this. We should do it more often. Sayori brushes a strand of hair behind her ear. That sounds really nice. I'll see you in the morning, right? Sure. Okay. Have a good night, Zero. Okay, good night, Sayori. She smiles at me one last time before going inside. Now I'm sad! <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki! Huh? <laughs> Natsuki? <laughs> Suddenly Natsuki! <laughs> Natsuki! <laughs> the Natsuki transition! <laughs> A transition that was never seen before! So, uh, I guess we'll give middle opinions on the mod. Uh, it's good so far. My only, my only gripe would be with it is, uh, not a fan of too much of the vanilla dialogue. <laughs> Natsuki says, get hacked. <laughs> Natsuki said, get hacked. You hacked my game, Natsuki, change it back. <laughs> no. I was like, I'm not a big fan of the vanilla dialogue. It's probably my only gripe, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> so far, that's my only gripe. Yeah, it's pretty alright, I guess. Yeah. I like the little horror elements, the little jump scares every so often. Mm hmm So, I thought that was interesting. It, 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 it plays with the horror aspect of like, of being like, ooh, <laughs> spooky. <laughs> spooky? <laughs> spooky. <laughs> but I mean, I'm also a lot, not like a huge fan of people who give jump scares, because jump scares are kind of a cheap way of scaring someone, so it's also kind of like, eh. <laughs> Mod's peak was the beginning so far. Yeah, I gotta agree with Doc. Yeah, the intro was fucking crazy. <laughs> I gotta say, the intro was very good. <laughs> Are we ready? Everything needs to be ready. Oh god, where did I leave my cupcakes? Natsuki, please calm down. You're making me nervous. How can I stay calm? This is the first time I've ever had a new member. Oh, she was freaking out about... Aww. <laughs> <laughs> it's her only chance to make a good impression. There's no reason to be dramatic. Sayori said she was bringing a friend. I doubt that he or she will be a difficult person to deal with. Yuri turns to me. Right. Monica? Oh, no. Oh, we're all Monica. Oh, this is from Monica's point of view. Natsuki cuts in before I can respond. You better not weird them out with all your weirdness, Yuri. <laughs> Rip, Yuri! You better not weird them out with all your weirdness. This one! This is so mean! <laughs> is this a flashback? I want to have a friend. I want a friend that I can just say that to and it'll everything will be fine. <laughs> I mean, so yes, to answer the person's question in the chat, yes, this is a flashback. <laughs> I won't let you hear the end of it. Hey! <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri's innocent bickering brings a smile to my face. God, do I envy them. Wait, I think I hear them coming now. The door swings open and Sayori marches inside. 
Everyone, the new member is here. What? Huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? My words of greeting freeze on my lips. I hear your announcement speak to the newcomers as if they are at the end of a long tunnel. Hello, Monica. What? It's been a long time, has it not? The world around us fades. I can just barely make out the voices of the others. They seem so far away. I've waited for this moment. Tell me, how did it feel? Did it make you feel powerful to murder your friends? What are you talking about? My figure chuckles in a voice like rusty scissors. Oh, Monica, Monica. Don't you remember? My hands clench into fists. I don't understand. Why is this happening? No, of course you don't remember. Well, guess what? I don't care. I will give you no peace. I will make you pay. Oh my god. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking doc. Who is that Pokemon? <laughs> Toasty! No, I'm out! <laughs> so, do I actually get to choose who poem I make? <laughs> I'm confused. Sad, this is only a demo. Oh wait, if this is only a demo, why can I choose the poem? <laughs> That's not like... It's Relic as Sayori now! Someone said Natsuki. Wasn't Yuri's book based on some kind of eye thingy? Yeah, the portrait of Markov. How many branches of the poem game create, I wonder? That's what I'm thinking, Doc. I don't know. I'm confused. Because <laughs> it's like... Is the, is the demo going to end early if I pick a certain character? Let's see. We had a date. What if this is just bait? Sayo. Alright. I mean... We said the demo was canon to the main story. I don't think anyone said that, Natsuki. But also, I'm just curious about who I even make this poem for. <laughs> who am I making the poem for? I don't know. Go say go Sayori since you've been talking to her a lot. Eagle saying go for Sayori. There's actually a decent amount of people are saying go for Sayori. She seems pretty. She seems to be a priority so far. That is true. All right. Uh, Sayori words. They're like sad ones. So, uh, <laughs> Marshmallow. What? <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> All right. Marshmallow. But what? <laughs> <laughs> Baited, get pranked, nerd. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki knew too. She winked with a winky face. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, sorry. Hope that didn't startle you. It did. <laughs> I just. Oh, this is MC. I just, like, can't believe those are the kind of poems you used to show everybody. They deserve better than that. I, I can do better. I'm going to make up for everything this time. This game is so strange, Afro. It's not like I know mu much of anything about programming, but the tall structure here makes no sense. There's way more data than there should be in a simple dating game. Layers upon layers of encryption. What are we, Afro? I've taken control. Monica's unable to alter the game files or change anything. That should stabilize things. For now. It's terrifying how much power I have. I can control this whole game. 
I'm not going to touch anything. It's too risky. But if I need to, I can reset. And everything will start over. And I'll keep my memory this time. I have as many chances as I need. Well, that's a small comfort, at least. Everyone else will forget again, but... I'll still have you by my side, Afro. Won't I? <laughs> yes! Of course! <laughs> yeah. What? Thanks for giving me options, sir! <laughs> of course! <laughs> that means a lot to me, Afro. I should even have someone I can call a friend with me. Together? I know we can do this. You got a friend in me. <laughs> Don't worry, other me. I gotcha. Zero, keep an eye out on the files. What? I have to actually be looking at the files? Oh. What? Do I? <laughs> nah, y'all lying to me. Hold up. Are the files actually changing? Natsuki, the files change. You played this demo. <laughs> I mean, at least other people probably have too, but Natsuki's the only one I know that played this. <laughs> we can show them the power of flex tape. What the fuck's happening? <laughs> Zero is his only friend. <laughs> I'm my only friend. I'll have you know. They do, but it's not like MBS where it's necessary to go through them. Oh, okay. So the files just changed slightly. Damn it, if I knew that... If I knew that, I should have actually kept, like, a window open that you guys can see the files. Because I only have them on my other OBS, not Streamlabs OBS. Curses. Spoiled. <laughs> Spoiled. Curses. Curses. Anyway, uh... Thank you, KW Space Boy, for the two bits, and thank you, Eagle, for the bits. For the, for the three bits and the two bits. <laughs> Making five bits. Eagle's the top bit man right now, apparently. Eagle's the top cheerer. Alright, so let's do this, I guess. Let's do this, lads. This demo's longer than I thought. Zero, you forgot about us. We're all your, we're, you're your friends. Thanks, guys. Very cool. I consider you all my friends too. That's Aoi's house at the usual time. Aoi, however, is nowhere to be seen. Sure, is taking a long time today. Why are you late to school at this point? I consider knocking on her door, but then I realize I have no reason to get to class on time. Oh no, you've been waiting for me this whole time, haven't you? I'm so sorry, Zero. They made us both late. Don't worry about it. I don't mind. I could have gone in to get you if I wanted, but it's not a big deal. No, 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 no. I can't have you getting in trouble because of me. Come on, Zero. We have to hurry. Zero takes my arm and starts speed walking while dragging me along. I can't help but laugh. They're <laughs> well, so admirable and more than a little cute. Don't laugh. This is serious. I'm not going to let you slack off just because you're too polite to come in and yell at me. Oh no! Or did they give you detention and you can't even come to the club? Please hurry up. Okay, okay. <laughs> we half walk, half run to school. And I laugh to myself as Sayori pulls me along. Aww. Sayori's adorable. <laughs> we call that a jog. <laughs> <laughs> says somebody. <laughs> Gommel B is right. <laughs> it's a jog. And the second period bell pulls me from my trance. I set down my pen and crumple up the doodle I've been working on. Am I really just going to sit around all day? Why? I don't have classes anymore. I'm suddenly curious. What is school really like? Is it the full-size building I remember? Maybe it's just a series of duplicating classrooms. Shouldn't I find out? Everything is quiet when those students or staff traverse the halls. I wonder if 
if I'll meet any of the others out day out here. I'm gonna wait in the next classes. It seems unlikely. This is a pretty big campus, isn't it? I step outside into a space between student buildings. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining and fluffy, cow fluffy clouds are drifting by overhead. It all looks so real. And yet, even as I stand under the bright sunlight, I feel no warmth. Oof. <laughs> the next building is similar to the first. I haven't been here since last year, but it looks just how I remember. In fact, it looks exactly the same. Even if it's deserted, this building appears to be real and fully in a fully functional school. Even the lights are turned on. It's a little eerie. Do they turn off on their own at night? I reach a larger hallway that I recognize as the front entrance to the school. It's been a while since I've been in this part of the layout. Past school library and stuff. I don't have much of a reason to use the library, but a nagging feeling in my gut tells me to go inside. I shrug to myself and pull open the double heavy doors. The air here is still in, is still in thick. I always thought our library was unusually large for high school. I'd feel more at home in the mansion of an ancient and prosperous family. Mahogany bookshelves fill the space while glass chandeliers bathe the room in soft light. <gasps> Did someone say mahogany? <laughs> it's made of mahogany. <laughs> oh my god, it's made of mahogany. <laughs> this is some Dr Dracula Castlevania stuff. This ain't a school library. Yeah, I agree, Doc. This is not a school library. No, it's a breathtaking sight. Although, the emptiness is a little spooky. What does an ordinary school library need with so many floors? I go on the corner of the shelf and stop. We notice each other in the same moment. Who's we? Oh, I figured. <laughs> Oh, Zero. I didn't expect to see you here. Hi, Yuri. I didn't take you for someone to skip class. S skip class? Yuri closed the book she was reading. Her left hand nervously taps on the table she's sitting at. I don't usually... I mean... It's okay. I'm here too, aren't I? Honestly, I was here reading before school and I kind of lost track of time. The school bells don't reach here too well, and... Our explanation trails off. I don't think it matters. What are you reading? Yuri looks at her book as if she's seeing it for the first time. Oh! She turns it over so I can see the cover. It's called Portrait of Markov. I've just been rereading bits of it. I see. It looks like an interesting book. It must be good if you're reading it instead of attending class. Let me make sure to smile as I say this to show Yuri that I'm only teasing her. Uh, hmm. Yuri stands up, then blinks as if she isn't sure why she moved. She clears her throat and forces a smile. It is quite a powerful story. One that I think many can relate to. Oh? May I take a look? Actually... Yuri starts rummaging through her bag. She procures a second copy of the novel. I... well... <laughs> S since you're new to the club, I thought it'd be good if I, you know, brought you something to help you get started. Since you said you don't normally read much. Not that you have to read this. Just if you want. I didn't want you to feel left out, you know? Oh, thank you, Yuri. That's so thoughtful of you. I take the book from her and look it over in my hand. The dying insignia on the cover stares back up at me. Something about it is unusually familiar. Um, it's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Your shy eyes pierce mine. I nervously look down. That sounds lovely. In fact, I have a little time right now. How about I get started? I pull out my chair across the table from Yuri. Huh? You don't have to. Uh, I mean, shouldn't you be going to class or something? Not really. Trust me. No one's going to miss me. I'm going to start reading this anyway. You don't mind if I do it here, do you? 
Of course not. I didn't mean to imply you're unwelcome. That's all right. I didn't take any offense. Just let me know if I'm bothering you, okay? All right, I gotta drink some water. My throat's about to kill me. Drinking sounds. Shut up, Doc. <laughs> Where's Monica? She probably had to do something. I would assume. You must avoid drowning, Zero. Don't worry, Dino. I won't drown. <laughs> the water won't drown me. Monica probably had to go do something, so she's probably just muted. She doesn't want to keep saying what she has to go do. She doesn't want to ruin anything when she talks. She's like, oh no. Yeah, the monolith of, of Monica. Anyway, this is kind of cute. This is kind of cute. The expressionary's face suggests that saying such a thing would be akin to removing an arm and beating herself with it. No one booked to the first page and Yuri turns their own copy. It's a little difficult to concentrate on the text with Yuri so close by. Not that it's unpleasant, she just has a keen presence that's hard for me to ignore. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over and catch her looking straight at me. <laughs> ah, Yuri! <laughs> I hastily look away. <laughs> S sorry. That was just... It's okay. My palms feel almost sweaty all of a sudden. Palms are sweaty. Knees weak. <laughs> Neary's eyes bring back some uncomfortable memories. You don't need to apologize. I stand up and walk around the table. Neary stares at me in shock as I sit right next to her. Here. How about we do it like this? I hold my book open between the two of us. Uh... If you want to... Yuri timidly closes her own copy. We hold her close together, we're close to each other, and soon find a good reading position. We develop a routine of turning the pages together. I try to get into the, into the book, but I'm having a hard time focusing. The mental image of Yuri's intense gaze is hard to shake. Oh, are you gonna show me that mental image? <laughs> Are they? Is this, what, is this what's gonna happen? <laughs> My foot taps against the carpet. Okay, they did not. Are you ready? No, oh, sorry. I so suddenly realized I stopped reading and Yuri's already a page ahead. <laughs> uh, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. Y yeah. Thanks. Continue reading. I force myself to focus on the text. The rest of the chapter passes without incident, and we continue to the next one. Hey, Yuri. I find the main character kind of interesting. Do you identify with her at all? What do you mean? Well, it's not like I've known you for very long. But the both of you seem very reserved. You examine yourself, and you think carefully about what you want to say. I tend to connect more with characters that remind me of myself. I thought maybe you might feel that way with this book. I... He looks off into space and taps a finger against the surface of the page. Perhaps I do sympathize with her. Sometimes I feel as if I'm also a part of the story, especially if it's a book I connect with. The characters absorb me into their lives. I feel their hardships and their victories as if they were my own. It can be a very emotional experience, especially when a character you care for experiences tragedy. But that's one of the greatest experiences a good story can create. Huh? It sounds like you've thought about this a lot. Yuri giggles. I do spend a lot of time reading. You often like to read here in the library? I barely ever come in here. Yes, I really like this place. There are more books than I could ever read. And it's quite rare that I meet someone else in here. I see. It does sound pretty nice. Your lip creeps, your lips creep into a faint smile. Hmm. Oh, there's the bell. 
Ring! He jerks up the sound of the third be period bell echoing through the library. H have we been here that long? I really need to get to class. Stands up and scrambles to collect her things. Well, this seems like a good stopping point anyway. I close the book and tuck it under my arm. I can do more reading tonight. Unless you'd prefer I read it only with you. Grace hand freezes over a bag in the middle of closing it. Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. I'll keep flipping through it then. If you've already read it, then you'll be able to continue from whichever point I happen to be on, right? Yes, that would be fine. You can continue at whatever pace suits you best. Wait, someone said, I thought that the bell didn't reach the library. I thought Yuri said that it did reach the library, it just wasn't that loud. <laughs> 10 out of 10 sound effects, Zero. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks to True Weebow. I appreciate it. <laughs> also, thank you, KW Space Boy 2, for 38 bits. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he said it took a lot to grind for this. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. So, Zero, what happened if I if you if you were to delete Yuri right now? I think it'd be pretty epic. I don't think anything would happen, Piku, because her file isn't supposed to go away. <laughs> Yuri looks towards the exit, then back to me. Hey, um... Her back straightens, and she lets out a deep breath. Thank you for reading with me today. When she looks at me, almost causes me to shrink back. I push away the feeling and smile. You're welcome, Yuri. Thank you for the book. Yuri nods and rushes off. I am left alone with the mountains of books. Not many stories are housed there. However, this library came to be... I'm curious about how extensive it really is. Also, I saw some Robbie's like er, Robbie's comment earlier, where he was like, "How pissed would Zero be if he was on Yuri's route?" I don't even know if this mod has routes. It seems like they're just kind of throwing me around because <laughs> I can't really do any poems. Mm. So, mm. it seems like we got we gave Sayori some time, we gave Yuri some time. Let's see if we actually get to hang out with Natsuki and Monica. Hi again, Zero. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> Monica, following her script, reads me with her signature smile. Now look away. Not like I have a choice. I'm trapped in here. And so are you. Barney wants to say this, but I hold back. Um, Zero? Don't worry, Monica. I don't intend on running off. The tone of my voice gives Monica pause. G good to know. Welcome back, then. Oh, she's so sad. <laughs> no! <laughs> she frowns and leaves me be. I'm the last to arrive, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Zero. I wasn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. I'm making you dive headfirst first in literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like, he deserves any slack! Sierra told me he didn't want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too! I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. There's no need to get so worked up, Natsuki. I'm definitely taking this seriously. Hey, wrote a poem. We'll see. It'll take more than that, that to be a full fledged member. Don't worry, guys. Zero always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me at busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Uh, you're making it seem more nobler than it, or, than it really is. You're always watching out for me, so I want to return the favor. Aw, Zero. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Now come! You and Zero can become good friends too! Um... Hey. Hmm? You shouldn't be so forward. We only just... Oh, oh, you're even brought you something today, you know? Here looks away in embarrassment. <sighs> Sayori. I know she did. She already gave it to me. Huh? Really? That's great! I'm so glad you're already getting along. I gently place my hand on Sayori's shoulder. Huh? I'm glad you're enjoying this, but you're making Yuri a little uncomfortable. She's not as people-oriented as you are. Yuri's head perks up. Oh, right. 
I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. That's alright. There's no harm done, but I appreciate the apology. Well, a small sigh of relief. Sorry to manage. It's hard to manage other people's emotions. But as long as everyone leaves the club happy, I've done my job. Speaking of which, I've yet to spend time with Natsuki. I, 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 I mentioned that earlier. We are the same person. <laughs> She seems like she'll be the hardest person to get close to, but I think she'll warm up to me eventually. I approach the closet where Natsuki's rummaging around. Ugh! Hear a sigh of frustration and look inside. You looking for something there? Freaking Monica! She never put my stuff back in the right spot! What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is going to mess it up? You mean your manga collection? Well, yeah. You read manga, right? I read some here and there. I thought you said so. It's kind of written on your face. Hey. I'll take that, I guess. I pick out a lone volume of manga that seems out of place on the shelf. Is this what you're looking for? There it is! As he snatches it out of my head and slips it into a box of manga with a single empty slot. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. Parfait girls, you have a little box set of this? If you're gonna judge, you could do it through the glass on that door. No, I didn't mean... I internally scold myself for my careless words. I didn't mean it like that. I just really like this series. It's all the saying. Natsuki looks doubtful. <laughs> Press X to doubt. <laughs> Come on, you're just going to make fun of me. Leave me alone. Eh? This isn't going well at all. I'll turn this around quickly. I swear I'm not making fun of you. In fact, I was about to ask if I could take a look at the first volume. <laughs> huh? Natsuki looks at the box as if she's reluctant to trust me with the volume. <laughs> she's like, <gasps> <laughs> He wants to read it! <laughs> That's a cute Natsuki face. <laughs> I like this music. I like this music too, Doc. Well, okay. But I'm going to be watching you the whole time. We just met, you know. She takes the first book and drags me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. You know when to use the desks? That won't work. You need to be able to read at the same time. Oh, if you say so. It's weird to think that I didn't notice this before, but is this just an excuse for us to be close to each other? How many things like this did I miss? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> You're pretty dense, sir. <laughs> Natsuki hands me the book, and I open the cover. She's peering over my shoulder, eager to begin reading. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Well, this won't be boring for you. I like rereading beginnings every now and then. You pick up on a lot of stuff you missed the first time around. Hey, are you paying attention? I am. This part is mostly set up anyway. I assume things pick up later. Well, yeah, a lot of beginnings about simple things. A lot of the beginnings about simple things. You have to get to know the characters to be able to enjoy the actual story. Later on, all the drama and romance starts to happen. That's when things really get good. And you do and you get really into and you get really into their backstories, which because everything was so much more depth. There's so many touching parts. And boy, what an ending. Ah, oh, is that so? So I don't think you really know what you're talking about. He, <laughs> and now we get Vanilla Natsuki CG. We get Natsuki time, but do we get Natsuki time? Not gonna lie, but first she's dragged me in. Whoa, blue demo, calm down, <laughs> dirty. <laughs> we keep reading. Seems like Natsuki has relaxed around me quite a bit, and her earlier hostility has subsided. I finished a couple of chapters at this point. I'm sorry, I hope this isn't too boring for you. It's not! You, even though you're just watching me read? Well... I'm fine with that. I get it. You really like this manga. It's always enjoyable to share something you love with someone else. Yeah. Hmm? Did I say something wrong? No, just... I wouldn't really know. How about what? Sharing your manga? You don't ever show your friends the things you're into? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Hmm. 
Like, I could never get my friends to read this. I just think manga's for kids. I can't bring it up without them being all like, eh, he's never grown out of that yet. It makes me want to punch him in the face. Whoa. I'm a little taken aback by Nazi's comment. He must be exaggerating, but it seems oddly violent out of nowhere. You really... Nazi's always violent. <laughs> you really feel that way about your own friends? I generally wouldn't hang around people who I want to punch. Nazi looks away. Well, I don't really see them all that much anymore. I guess, well, I don't know. They aren't that bad, sometimes. But after a while, you get sick of people's crap, you know? Yeah, it's too short to be around those kinds of people. You have to be safe to express your own interests openly. Right, people are always so judgmental and stupid. I mean, I feel like I can't even keep my manga in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found it. Really? Truth be told, I've almost forgotten Natsuki's situation with her dad. A fresh wave of guilt washes over me from my forgetfulness. Just who is her dad, anyway? I haven't seen him anywhere in the game files. That seems rather harsh. Yeah, well... Yeah, he's not in the game files. I'll even check. Ah, yeah. No Natsuki's dad, guys. <laughs> Obviously, I had to check that. <laughs> How do you think I feel? Your dad isn't too bad, is he? Huh? When are you asking all of a sudden? I don't know. I was just wondering since you said... Unless he moves away from me. God, you've only been here a day. What business do you have getting all nosy all of a sudden? I spoke much. I spoke much too soon. I should have been more patient. What a stupid mistake. I'm sorry. I was just asking. Forget I said anything. Hmm. I will. You gonna keep reading or what? Sure. I flip the page. Suddenly, Nazi starts to laugh. She gads herself. She remembers she's mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> she's laughing, but then she's like, oh, no, wait, I have to be mad. <laughs> uh, I, I forgot that happens. She falls quiet. <laughs> that was cute. We said too much to Natsuki. I think we're on her bad side. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> Over time, the two of us relax. As Natsuki opens up, her demeanor changes. Her voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual defensive tone. But if she's not used to sharing her passions with her friends and family, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feelings you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that much for Natsuki, from too much of her experience, I feel a little better about myself. Okay, everyone. Are you all ready with today's poems? Oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? Sorry, I just need to make sure we have enough time. No, you do look pretty cozy over there. Huh? <laughs> ah! Nancy Sully notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hold it out to Natsuki. Are you just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Do you mind lending it to me? I'd like to finish it, but I didn't want to assume you were okay with it. Well, of course I'm going to let you borrow it. It'd take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish the one for tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. Sure, I can do that. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? I sure did. Even if I'm not letting it show, I feel a little nervous. I'm really putting myself out there this time. Great. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! I see everyone pull out their poems. I reach into my bag and pull out my own. Afro, if you're free to choose whom I share with, I don't mind letting you keep that control. It'll be reassuring to know you're still here with me. Don't worry, buddy. I'm here. Don't worry, other me. I won't leave you. I wouldn't leave you. <laughs> He's like, are you there? Did you fall asleep? <laughs> Am I on auto?
Yeah. I'm gonna go to sleep. It's really late. Good night, Weeb Wow. Thanks for coming to the stream, man. I appreciate it. All right, so what's everyone saying? What? What, what the hell's happening? <laughs> right, like I said, like, Sayori, go now, now. This might decide the route. I doubt this decides the route. Just go in order. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't even know what poem we made. So it's like, choices, 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 pick wisely. Honestly, I don't, does this, I feel like this doesn't even matter. So I might just go down the list. Hi, Zero. Are you ready? I think so. Remember, this is my first poem. I've never really written before, I've never really written before, and I only had one night, and... Oh my god, Zero, it's fine. Just give it to me already. Okay. And Zero, the sheet of paper. My heart is pounding so hard that I'm almost afraid she'll hear it. Oh, I get to see my poems now! Red balloon. String flings at my fingers as it slips away. A careless moment, perhaps a lapse in attention. My solitary red balloon makes an escape. My heart skips a beat, words of frustration bubble to my throat. But there's no use dwelling in the past. Why does it run away? It bobs and weaves. Will I reach it with a jump? I give chase, after my red balloon. But it is far too late. My balloon is of the heavens now, and I anchored to the earth. <laughs> Doc's like, I don't know, they might matter, and then gives a <laughs> Doc, don't be mean! They don't matter! <laughs> don't be mean, Doc. Sarah's eyes widen. Ooh! This isn't what I was expecting at all! <laughs> well... What do you think? I wanted Monica first, though. Don't worry, Piku. I'm curious about something, though. Is it the same poem if we... I'm curious. Is it the same poem? Let's try going with Natsuki. I'm just gonna skip this, because I'll read it when we get- IT IS DIFFERENT! <gasps> <laughs> THEY'RE DIFFERENT! <gasps> THIS DOES MATTER! <gasps> <gasps> THIS DOES MATTER! <laughs> DOC, I KNEW IT! <laughs> oh my god, it does matter. It may not matter, shake it, Afro Zero, it may not matter, shake my head. Okay, Toasty, you know, it matters, gasp. Wait, I don't even think Natsuki's still here. I was about to ask her if it matters. Well then, choose Monica. <laughs> hmm, I kind of want to choose Monica because I'm curious. What, what, what would that poem be? I'm actually, I'm honestly very curious now. <laughs> really guys <I> like no <laughs> I'm honestly super curious if we choose Monica because she's aware what would her what, what would our poem be for Monica wait we need to be on Natsuki's good side Natsuki's gonna stop being mad at us later anyway <laughs> everyone's like you gotta get on Natsuki's good side Natsuki's not even mad at us she just lended us her manga <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> Maybe just multiple phones. He said he wanted to do better for them. Oh, Gibbs be out here. <laughs> Gibbs be out here. Gibbs Bond be out here. He's like, maybe it's just multiple poems. Maybe he made four. Maybe it's like um that one mod. What mod was it where he made like four poems? Was it Relapse? I don't remember. What was the, what was the mod where he made like poems for each? Oh hi, where are we? Natsuki! Does it, ma does it matter who we share a poem with first? <laughs> Twin realities. Oh, well thank you, Natsuki. But I'm pretty sure Relapse did it too, but... <laughs> I think Relapse did it too, because there was one where he was like meta and he was- Yeah, Relapse did do it, I remember now, because he wrote poems for all of them. Yeah, it was Relapse. I guess Twin Realities did it as well. I don't actually remember if Twin Realities did that as well. Matter, what do you mean? Like... Do we go, because from what we've seen so far, he makes different poems depending on 
Does he make four poems, Natsuki? Do we get a different poem each time we share? Or is it because it's the first person we share with? Now we wait. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he made four. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did he actually make four? <laughs> I guess he made four. Fuck it. We're going with Sayori. We'll see what happens. He made four. Well, what do you think? I'm surprisingly nervous. I don't think I could be so, concer so concerned with Sayori's opinion. She's totally so nice. But after revealing part of my heart with this poem, it's important to me that she likes it. Hmm, I'm trying to think of the word. Solemn. It's sadly solemn. This feels like a very personal poem. I think it's about a certain feeling you've had, right? That's more true than you know. It means a lot to me that you would do so much for this activity. I was a little worried you wouldn't take this seriously. I can see now that I was wrong about that. It's a good poem. It's very freeform, but I kind of like that about it. Thank you, Zero. You're welcome, Sayori. Thank you for reading. Anyway, you brought a poem in too, right? Of course! And it's the same one! Breakfast time! <laughs> That's cute. You wrote this this morning, didn't you? Eh, no. Maybe a little. <laughs> what? <laughs> maybe a little? <laughs> you can't say maybe a little to a yes or no question, Sayori. <laughs> That's okay. I may have forgotten too if I wasn't so nervous about it. Not one to disappoint you really motivated me though. Huh? Really? I should have tried harder at this then. No! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you feel bad. Your poem's really nice. It's visual in a very beautiful way. You wrote about a moment that everyone experiences and takes for granted. But it's a moment that's truly special and worth cherishing. And that's what your poems mean to me. Zero. I don't know what to say. I expect you to think this is just a, just a silly poem. Uh, have I really made you think that's how I see you? I haven't been that awful, have I? Hmm? Awful? No, Zero, you're not awful. Thank you for the feedback on my poem. And thank you for trying today. Uh, you're welcome, Sayori. <laughs> I'm not crying or cry- Okay, so now we get to see. So now, is it a different poem? Alright, so... So, you actually wrote something, right? I actually did. See for yourself. Oh, Natsuki was right. Yeah, he wrote four poems. <laughs> I'll write one for all of you. <laughs> I go down the all Doki route. Oh no, it's brand new day. Ah! Harm route! <laughs> ah! Suddenly Monica! <laughs> and she's not on her computer. Are you on your computer or your phone? I'm on my computer. Oh, you are. I don't know why you scared me. Sound bad? I don't know. I thought you sounded you sound like phone, Monica. Do I? Do I? Do I sound oh, wait. bad? Maybe you don't. Maybe I just haven't heard you in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I just haven't heard you in a while, so I'm confused. Suddenly, Monica. Hello. Also, Eagle gave fifty bits. Thank you, Eagle. Pog Champ fifty. Gibbs, Gibbs, Gibbs said, oh, I remember correctly and theorized correctly. You did. I gotta give you props, Gibbs. You predicted it when everyone else is like, no, everyone, everyone else is like, pick this girl, pick this girl. Gibbs was one of the few I saw who was like, maybe he made a poem for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> there might have been other people who did that too, but Gibbs is the one that I truly, that I truly saw say it. Alright, so closed door. Does this door open for anyone? My shackled feet beg me to run. While I burst outside and feel the sun? Does this door open for you? I take your hand and walk you through. My aching heart has never felt so true. 
Does this door open for me? If I beg and plead, licensee, and day where we can be set free. What do bits do, Eagle? Bits are basically money. Every, each bit is one cent. So they're like donations, except in very small amounts. <laughs> Yeah, and you can get them for free if you watch. Ads. Yeah, and you, yeah, you get and you get bits for ad, from like ads and such. So yeah, they're very. You have to make sure you click the button that says "Watch Ad" to get bits or whatever. You don't just get them just by watching. You gotta make sure like go to your way to do it. Yeah, basically, it's like each bit is one cent. So yeah, so Eagle donated fifty bits. He donated fifty cents, basically. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and, he, and like Eagle said, the ad bits barely work, so good luck. <laughs> oh, they do? Oh. <laughs> they don't work all the time, because Twitch is fucking gay. <laughs> I see. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, it might be the, the it may, might be the ad that's doing it. I doubt it. I don't know if it's Twitch fucking with it. It's probably just dads being dumb. <laughs> <laughs> now she keeps quiet for a while. She rereads my poem, then reads it again. <laughs> um, is it okay? Well, Natsuki would like something like this, but perhaps I misjudged her. Zero, did you copy this from somewhere? What? No! I wrote this last night! Come on, why are you so suspicious of me? Look, you've been acting odd ever since you came here. You randomly joined a club with all girls. You're clearly not at all that interested in literature. Hey, I've been friends with Sayori since we were little kids. We're thoroughly closer to each other than anyone else. You seem like you're good friends with her. Do you think we would be that close if I was the kind of person to plagiarize? Hmm, <laughs> I don't know. You have to admit, it looks weird. Don't you have got any guy friends? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you gonna be so mean? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> but that, but you gotta want any! <laughs> what am I, gay? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> When your girlfriend calls you gay, how do I respond? You're gay. You're my girlfriend. I thought I wasn't gay. I'm confuzzled. I mean, I'm gay and I have a boyfriend, so... Is there a problem? I have to carry the two. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the equations. It's confusing. So wait, <laughs> carry the one, <laughs> PEMDAS, <laughs> exponents, <laughs> multiplication. <laughs> All right, I have finally decided I am not gay. <laughs> All right, good night, Piku. Well, you're lying. You How am I lying? You did it wrong. <laughs> I spend literally all day with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gay. Like I said, I'm gay too. Yeah, if you're, like, not full gay. <laughs> you said you like guys you more than girls. You don't have to be full gay, Zero. Yeah, but I hang out with Bug and I'm not attracted to him. <laughs> I hang out with Natsuki and I'm not attracted to her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn it. <laughs> Hard calculus, says <laughs> someone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay! <laughs> <laughs> Someone says stop zero, I'm dying from laughter. Don't die! You have to watch the stream! <laughs> you have to smash like and subscribe! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Someone made a so said you're not attached to Natsuki yet. <laughs> I've known her for a while now, although. Yeah, just you wait. You'll be attracted to her soon. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Okay, but then, anyway. Oh, donation from Toast Man. Can I get a zero as cute in the chat, please? No, Toast! Yes, How dare no! you! What? Toast, <laughs> toast donates for slander. <laughs> Everybody his, say the zero. With his beacon of lies. 
I'm continuing reading. No, see, now the chat's filled with lies. I'm continuing re I'm, I'm reading. <laughs> Natsuki, I promise I wrote this poem. I don't have any ill intentions. Really. Did you like it? I worked pretty hard on it. Fine, yes. It's a good poem. There. Are you happy? God. How's it fair you wrote something like this right off the bat? Do you like it that much? Don't get a big head now. You're only a one-hit wonder so far. <laughs> Thank you anyway. I was thinking of your opinion when I wrote it. It means something to me. I comment Nanja Natsuki off of her defensive stance. Y you were? Well, fine. You did a good job. I guess. She's only repeating herself now. It's probably up to me to keep things moving. <laughs> so can I read your poem now? Oh. Oh, yeah. You won't like it, but alright. You don't think so? I'll take a look anyway. I love eagles can fly. Eagle, <laughs> you can fly. <laughs> fly, eagle, fly. Fly. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just, then he just puts eagle in the chat, and then starts laughing. <laughs> yeah. I told you you weren't going to like it. Come on, I do like it. Why are you so convinced that I shouldn't? It's not that you shouldn't, I'm really great at writing. <laughs> but most people just see it as a cute or innocent. They don't appreciate the effort or meaning that goes into it. Really? It seems short-sighted. I suppose I can see how someone might think this poem is cute. The subject matter is quite serious. There's a deep meaning that is anything but cute. Yeah! Wait, I think I said that wrong. Hold up. Oh no, I suppose I can see why- I can see how someone might think this poem is cute, but that's not the way it felt to me at all, so I missed it. That's not the way it felt to me at all. Yeah! I mean... That's what I was trying to portray. Do you really feel like that a lot? As his eyes widen, she begins to stammer. I... Hey! You're getting awfully personal, aren't you? Oh, um... We're discussing poems here. This is a therapy session. Or do you want me to overanalyze everything you write, too? Sorry. Now she frowns and glances over her shoulder. Are we done here? Thanks for sharing, I guess. Just don't forget to write something for tomorrow, okay? I won't. That went well. <laughs> that went well. Perfect. You know what, guys? We're going to Monica. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Dago even said, Yuri! Well, sorry, Dago. <laughs> I must have tripped. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I tripped over, over the button. <laughs> he said, Damn! It's okay, Dargo. Yuri got a lot of talking time in this episode already, so it's fine. <laughs> ah, hi, Zero. I'm confused. Did you not write a poem for today? Of course I did. I have it right here. I brandished a piece of paper in my hand. Y you do? How strange. Well then, would you, um, like me to look at it? Sure. Please, let me know what you think. What is this? The ash is rebuilt. In the blink of an eye, the world has fallen apart. The sky ruptures, birthing great darkness. The splinters dance across the heavenly ceiling. In an agonizing instant, I am swept into a stream of nothingness, followed by silence, an explosion, and a horrifying light, bringing my body to a world reborn. Oh, yeah. 158. <laughs> 158. Never forget, guys. 158. <laughs> oh my god. Is this... Is something wrong? It's, um, good. I like it. <laughs> Well, that should do it, right? You still have to share this with everyone else now, don't you? Wait, you haven't shown me your poem. Don't we all have to share? Uh, so we do. Monica's poem trembles in her hands. Monica, is something wrong? 
Wrong? <laughs> what could be wrong, Zero? Why would anything be wrong? Right? I haven't told Monica about my awakening. I just don't feel comfortable opening up to her yet. Not after what I saw her do. What does she think is happening? Must be frightening that I'm going off script. Nothing's wrong. I can read your poem now. Okay. Here it is. My favorite! There's this hole in the wall. I saw a hole in the wall. Get it out of here. <laughs> Doc, 158, what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> MatPat analysis. <laughs> wow, I like this a lot. You do? Of course. You're much better at this than I am. Ah, uh, I wouldn't say that. You write very genuinely. It's not a contest or anything. To be honest, I really like your style. I think I'm gonna relate to it more than the other kinds of poems there. Really? Yeah, I love freeform. It can be a ton of fun to experiment with spacing and structure to create a visual effect. Monica blinks at me. She moves her hand to cover her face a little. But thank you. I only really tried to express myself with this poem. It means a lot to, to me to hear you appreciate it. I'm not... I'm not used to... Used to being... Monica? You're, you're right. Monica's face scrunches up and her lips quiver. It's as if she's holding something back. I'm stunned. I never imagined seeing Monica so emotional. It almost makes me worried about her. She looks out of the wind she looks out the window and squeezes her hands together. You know, Zero, I think you have a lot of potential in this club. You seem more aware than the others. If that makes sense. It can be hard to be awake in the world all by yourself. But it may help if you aren't completely alone. Do you know what I'm saying? I uh It's clear what Monica's asking me. Is this my chance to reveal everything? Can the two of us work together? I'm sorry, Monica, but I'm not sure what you're talking about. I think there's been a misunderstanding. Monica's face falls. Ah, uh, never mind. But thank you for sharing today. Y you're welcome. Thank you for reading. Why couldn't you do it? You made her sad! You piece of shit! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I'll ha Zero, I'll have you know I am very disappointed in you. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> she was holding back her tears! Damn it! Uh, God damn it. Now I'm upset. <laughs> you better have a good explanation on why you couldn't say it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I'm terrified of being alone. But, accepting Monica's offer would feel like forgiving her. And I, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I guess, but come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess you killed all your friends, but man, come on. You can bring that up later. <laughs> 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 That's a later thing. <laughs> That's a later thing. Like, That's a on. later conversation. <laughs> you can bring that up later. I fell into Yuri's eyes as I approach her. But, hey. I know you're probably nervous too, but would you mind if I read your poem first? I'm really sorry, but since this is my first time, my sentence draws off as my nerves overtake me. I'm going to take myself seriously as a writer. Approval from Yuri is the real test. Oh. Her face flushes as she hurriedly turns away. Uh, I don't mind. Y you're going a long way for this club. You know, writing a poem on your very first day. If there's anything I do to make you feel more comfortable, then I would consider it my duty. Wow. Honestly, Yuri, thank you. This whole thing is really embarrassing. It means a lot to me that you've been, that you've been so welcoming. I... I'm glad. Now you feel... I've been... Yuri falls quiet. She looks down at her poem as if she just remembered that she also has to share. It's okay, I don't bite. I promise I'm more scared of doing this than you are. She 
smiles and gives a small nod before passing me her poem. Yeah, yeah, flickering back. Oh my, that was very interesting. Quite sophisticated. Uh, please, you don't have to say things like that. You don't think it was too short? Not at all. In fact, it was very p powerful at this length. That's what she said. <laughs> Thank you. You right. twist the lock of hair between her fingers. What's wrong with you? I don't know what you're talking. That was a perfect one. Come on now. <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? That was a perfect one. Come on. Really? Like really? What's wrong with you, man? Like it literally said it was very powerful at this length. Like really? <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> I think you're just dirty and it's, loose. That's what she said, Monica. I know someone in the you... chat was thinking it. <laughs> a lot of people probably think that. For a lot of things we See, both... If I, if I didn't say it, someone was gonna say it. I did it for that person. You're welcome, that person. I don't know about that one. <laughs> My chat can be lewd. <laughs> you could be looter, though. My chat could be lewd. No. <laughs> Are you trying to say that I'm a bad influence on my chat? <laughs> yeah. I'm not. <laughs> you are. I am not. That is a lie. You are. <laughs> 2 304 says, yeah, but we didn't type it. <laughs> Shut <Yeah>. up. <laughs> you didn't type you it because I said it. No. They didn't type it because they're not lewd like you. <laughs> We're already painted. <laughs> no, chat. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're ruining our heads. <laughs> no. Throwing your chat under the bus. Come on. <laughs> My chat's throwing me under the bus now. What's happening? Yeah. Nothing, Natsuki. <laughs> Nothing you need to be concerned about. <laughs> Sorry, Zero, but you're the lewd one, my friend. No, Steph Wagon! Okay. Natsuki, you just say wholesome and cute like you always do. Yeah. Believe it or not, they put a lot of thought into this piece. Sometimes the power in a poem is in its conscious, is its conciseness. But you can never be too sure until someone else reads it. Don't worry, it seems like a very thought out piece. I like the eerie atmosphere you evoke. Even though there are only a few lines, the feeling was very strong. Oh, eerie? Is that how it felt? A little. Was that unintentional? Um, I can't say for sure. Maybe it's a feeling that I'm more comfortable with than most people. So from an outside perspective, it may appear eerie in some ways. Does that make sense? Huh, I think it does. That's an interesting way to look at it. Oh! I haven't even read your poem yet. Do you feel ready to share now? Yes, I think so. Candle. I wake to a world of darkness, alone, in the swirling mists. A light to help me find my way, no place to call a home. Stumbling and bumbling through the uncertain. And when my feet slip and lose their grounding, slick rock in a bumpy path, not friends to the cold and lost. I find with searching toe, after hours of desperate wander, a candle of wax and wick to burn, a dry flint with which to light it. My hand shakes and slips as I bring life to my new friend. Monica's fan is on, <laughs> and I can hear it. Hmm? Your, is your fan on? Oh, what the fuck are you hearing all and these That's time? you breathing. <laughs> it's, there's wind going into your mic. Maybe I'm breathing further than my face. I was, I was like, there was wind. So I thought that was your fan. That was you. I thought that was actually, at first I thought that was actually in the poem and I ignored you and then I was like, wait. <laughs> that was so, you then. Were you breathing like right into your mic? Maybe I was. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just laughing at it. <laughs> My fan's off. <laughs> Ow, I, I didn't mean to. Well, how did you hurt yourself? <laughs> I hit my fan! I... Why did you hit your fan? I didn't mean to, I said! I, 
like went to motion over to it for some reason. You can't see me, so I don't know why I did that. But I... <laughs> You're so clumsy. <laughs> you really are just Sayori. No! You're Sayori and Monica. Sayonica. <laughs> <laughs> this is all you are. I tend to the small candle. The shroud surrounds me all the same. Wander still through a world of darkness. My lonely flame and I. Together through the path is hidden. We'll find a better way. <laughs> oh god, Yuri. <laughs> Her eyes. Eh. Yuri's eyes widen as she scans the paper. Whoa. She looks up at me. Zero, I thought you said you had no experience with writing. I really don't. Having tried it, I'm thinking I may have a bit of a knack for it, but I've never written anything before last night. You... you haven't? But the way you write... It seems like you thought this piece through very carefully. Wow, that's very flattering. Do you really see it as that unique? No, it's not unique at all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why though? Yuri realizes that she what she just said and slaps a hand over her mouth. Oh my god, that came out so wrong. I really didn't mean it that way. I'm such an idiot. Hey, Yuri. It's alright. Really. I'm sure you have a good reasoning. I'd love to hear your criticisms. Help me improve. Uh, well, I'm glad to hear that. Still, it was extremely careless of me to speak that way. I'll try to do better in the future. Ahem. <clears throat> A poem is certainly its own thing, but it falls for a common pitfall among new writers. It seems like you tried to emulate someone else's style, so while the idea is your creation, it lacks a voice of its own. It's that individual voice that gives a good poem its power. Of course, that takes a lot of time for a writer to develop. You should certainly be proud of this piece. I'm very impressed, to be honest. It's really something to hear Yuri speak, speak once she has a firm hold on a topic. Confidence and power that resonates from her is intoxicating. Well, thank you, Yuri. You clearly know writing very well, so your praise is meaningful to me. You... don't mean that. Yuri turns away as the colors in her cheeks deep deepen. Then she seems to remember something. This subject matter... What is it that inspired you to write this? Ah, how do I explain this? I'd say I was thinking about inspiring others rather than being inspired myself. I enjoy poems that do that for people. Isn't that one of the highest purposes writing can have? So I plan to try my hand at creating something that makes people think. I see. It is certainly very hopeful. If you want to make people think, well, you've succeeded with at least one person. I can't help but smile just a little bit at that comment. That's very good to hear. Still... You should work on to develop an independent style. Your writing will flourish because of it. But if you write this well as a first attempt, I look forward to seeing what you can do in the future. I looked down at the sheet of paper in my hand. Not too long ago, I had been confident in this poem. Now, I'm not so sure. I worked really hard on this. You give me a lot to think about. Thank you for your honest criticism. If today's poem fell short, then I'll do better tomorrow. Hoo hoo So enthusiastic. Just do your best, and that's all you can do as a beginner. But why wasn't it foo foo foo? <laughs> Disappointment. <laughs> Zero out of ten. A, what? Not a super. What'd you say? She's not a super. She's not a super villain. <laughs> Every time I'm about to say what you say, you get quiet. You don't say what you were gonna say. <laughs> what? Every time you were, I asked you what you're gonna say, you wouldn't say it. You get quiet. <laughs> And then you talk yeah. every time I talked, and I'm like, no, stop. For me, no, that's that's Discord being retarded. For me, it's like, it's like, I'll talk, but then and then you'll talk, and then for me, it's like, like the huh? same and time. I'll be like, and then I'll talk again, <laughs> and then you'll talk again. And then we'll be like, huh? And I'll be like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, what, Sonny? What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say, Sonny? <laughs> I couldn't hear you. Nice. Uh, Yuri's voice always makes me yawn. Because it's a deep voice. 
voices do that to me too. They're a deep we've voice. Over, we've been over this. You've been over this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> exactly. I win this round. Okay. <laughs> okay. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> she laughed. I'm off the hook. <laughs> Yay. No, that's not how that works. Yeah, it is. Well, it's not. Yes, it is. It's not. It is, though. It's not, not though. That would be everyone. <laughs> I glance around the room. I have mixed feelings on how that went. Part of me honestly expected that my writing would be better liked. At the same time, I did get a lot of very positive comments, which leaves me optimistic. Which leaves me optimistic for the future. I land on Yuri Natsuki. Now here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> they gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. As his eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. It's a clear. It's a, it is a clear neither appro approve of the other's writing style. What's with this language? Uh huh? Um, did you say something? No, oh, it's nothing. I look to Monica and Sayori to see if they've noticed anything yet. Sayori said snaps towards the two girls and her lips form a concerned pout. She looks at me, then back to the brewing argument. Meanwhile, the discussion is ramping up. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clear about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Yuri and Asuki don't notice, but the attention in the entire room is fixated on them. Sayori appears increasingly bothered. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Zero did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, Excuse me. It occurs to me that perhaps I should intervene. I'm not supposed to, according to the script, but is there any reason I have to wait until I'm prompted to say something? Perhaps my responsibility is to stop the fighting before someone gets really upset. I'm the only one who could do so, after all. Nazi's already on her feet. Oh! I didn't even realize you're so invested in trying to impress a new member, Yuri. Uh? That's not what I. Uh? You, you're just. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Zero appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? Now how'd you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Aren't we were supposed to intervene? <laughs> Why are we intervening yet? <laughs> <laughs> intervene! Hurry! He's like, do I have to wait until I intervene? I think I can do it early. Still hasn't intervened. <laughs> you that, are you that full of yourself? Zero seems almost panicked at this point. This is not good. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? Uh-oh. I was the one who's... Hey! Huh? I hear Monica gasp from somewhere behind me. The two girls jerk their heads toward me as if broken from a trance. They launch their explanations. Zero! She, she, she's been trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and... Guys, that's enough. They stop and stare at me with pleading eyes. Everyone waits a bated breath for what I'm about to say next. Listen, you both want me to take a side. I'm not going to do that. I've only known the two of you for a few days. However, I still know that you're both better than this. You're both thoughtful and creative people. I enjoyed reading what you had to offer, and I feel like I learned something from both of you today. So, Yuri? Mm -hmm. Yuri looks away in shame. You're clearly a brilliant writer. You of all people should be able to understand that Natsuki's poem was nuanced, despite its word choice. I don't think you're fair in judging it so quickly. Natsuki shared something very personal with you, and your dismissiveness was hurtful to her. Oh. Ha! Huh, that's right! Natsuki, you were also inconsiderate. Huh? Yuri perks up a little bit. Don't you see that Yuri's poem is as personal as to her as yours is to you? Weren't you equally as judgmental as she was? But, but I... I really like the both of you. 
Huh? I do. I think you guys are more alike than you realize. You're both smart, you're both sensitive, you have a lot of common ground to meet on. I don't like to see you fight. Hope you use this argument as a way to become closer as friends. Because, well, that's what you are, right? I see here he looked at each other, then hastily turned their heads away. Well, I've really acted shamefully, haven't I? I smile. It looks like everything... No! Oh, shit! <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's not good enough! She was so mean to me! I'm sick of her getting away with her crap! Natsuki, I think... Shut up! Natsuki... Oh Who the hell do you think you are, anyway? How is it any of your business? Hey, um... You don't belong here. You're just a freaking loser! Natsuki, stop it! Everyone turns and looks at Sayori. She has her fist clenched as she glares at Natsuki. Natsuki looks like Sayori just slapped her in the face. <laughs> Fine! Natsuki storms out of the room. They all stare at the door and it slams shut. Why does she have to be that way? She's so mean sometimes. Sayori's visibly shaking. Sayori, she called me a loser, not you. <laughs> 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 Did you forget? Did you did you not understand the insult? <laughs> Who was it directed at? She she likes us that much, Monica. She doesn't want her fr she doesn't like <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't like her friends being upset. <laughs> Sarah's visibly Thanks. shaking. Gary places a hand on her shoulder. It's going to be okay. It was just a little scuffle. Sorry, are you alright? Sorry wipes her face with her sleeve. Fine, I'm fine. Um, I think we should wrap it up here. It seems we get all these little break from the club. Just until tomorrow. Monica's right. Things will be back to the normal tomorrow. Once everything has calmed down. Sorry, slowly nods. It's okay. She, she's a good friend. And I know we'll sort things out. I should be getting upset like this. I'm sorry. It's quite all right, Sayori. Don't worry yourself about it. <laughs> so Jesus Christ, that was unexpected. Yeah. I was no, like, uh, excuse me. Yeah, I was like, and this is when everything goes back. Everything goes fine. Oh no! <laughs> Problematic. To be fair, I'm glad that the MC did that because in that, that argument in the default game, both sides were in the wrong. <laughs> yeah, they were. And I kind of wish there was an option for that because it didn't really seem like there was. You could just pick Sayori and then it's just Sayori making both sides awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was like, I feel like there was, a way, there was a fucking thing you could put where just call both sides out on their bullshit. Yeah. It's like, it's both sides are in the wrong there. Natsuki was being a little too, like, a little too mad, and Yuri was being kind of pompous. Yeah. <laughs> Yuri was being very full of herself, and Natsuki was, like, getting very um, offensive. Yeah, very offensive. So, it's like, honestly, I'm glad we, tr <laughs> we tried. <laughs> we tried to make sure, right? <laughs> Didn't work out very well. I hiccup. Hiccup? Hiccup? Hiccup, okay. Yet again, we got pranked. Yeah, Toasty, this mod's just been pranking us. Doki Doki Social Experiments mod. <laughs> just getting pranked. Joey Salads, where are you? Stop pranking us, man. You gotta pay me first. What Natsuki did was pretty realistic, but over the top. It's easy to see how she could think Zero was a creep with what he was doing, been doing so far. I agree, Doc. That's, I, it was, was very realistic that she was like, who the hell are you? Stop trying to get so personal with our lives. Uh-huh. It was like, yeah, what she did actually made a lot of sense. <laughs> There's a lot on my mind as Sarah and I walk home together. Nazi's outburst the game was a total surprise to me. I was so sure of myself, and yet I still mess things up that much. Not to mention my poetry. This is all looking much harder than I expected it to be. Zero, are you okay? Hmm? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? You're so quiet. 
You've been acting really different lately. I'm a little worried about you. You're worried? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel that way. See? This is what I mean. You're being way too considerate. It's not you. I don't know why you're doing this, but you don't have to. What do you mean? Isn't... Isn't this how you want me to be? The least I can do is try to be more considerate and kind to you. Oh, Zero. You're my closest friend. I'm friends with you because I like you how you are. Have I really made you feel bad for being yourself? If you don't think you can, you can be who you are around me, then I've been a terrible friend. No! Don't say that, Sayori! We stopped walking and are standing on the sidewalk facing each other. You're not a terrible friend. You really can't speak that way. You're scaring me, Zero. I don't understand. Why are you being like this? I take a shaky step back. I I'm sorry. Seriously, is everything okay? If something's going on, you can tell me. Siri's eyes plead with me. They tell me I'm a monster. And everything I do is making things worse. Siri needs me, and I'm failing her again. Her eyes. Uh, I... I thought... I thought I lost you. And I don't know what I would do. How I could go on. Without... Y you're crying? No, Zero, please tell me what's wrong! Please. I can't. I can't tell anyone. I hide my face and wipe my sleeve over my eyes. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I'm fine. Please don't worry about me. Zero. I'm such an idiot to let her see that. What's wrong with me? Walk on in silence. Zero? Yeah? Thank you for writing a poem today. It really meant a lot to me. My mouth dries up. Sari looks at me with such genuine warmth. Affection, even. You're welcome. Sayori. You're welcome, Sayori. So I'm theorizing that we are the depressed one here. <laughs> I think so. No, oh, he is talking. <laughs> I was like, looks like we're the depressed one here. We're playing rain clouds. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> MC rain clouds. <laughs> Doki Doki rain clouds too. <laughs> Better version. <laughs> Electric boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> the rain clouds too MC edition. Oh, <laughs> Relicast, and oh fuck, I'm crying. It's okay, Relicast. I feel so lost, Afro. What am I supposed to do? I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for any of this. What kind of life have I been cursed to? Living the same events over and over. Thousands upon thousands of times. I'm born... I join the literature club, Sayori dies, memories erased, Monica drives Yuri insane, Yuri dies, and all falls apart, the cycle repeats, and my memory gets erased again. How many times? I'm born, I join, they die. Erase! God, I don't know what to do, Afro. But what do I do? I, I don't know, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> they have me at gunpoint. <laughs> you have unlocked a special bomb. Would you like to read it? Natsuki said secretly, "This is rain clouds the whole time." <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit, they have me at gunpoint. Oh, no. You know what I think? <laughs> Natsuki said, no, I don't want to read it. <laughs> you know what I think? What? That you should click yes. <laughs> Doc said yes! <laughs> Daddy, yes. no! Daddy, <laughs> yes! 
<laughs> yes, in dog foot, daddy, yes. Cribs. <laughs> ah! What? What is this? <laughs> is it Jesus? What? In this dream, I hold a leaking bag of sand. I frankly try to hold it with my fingers, but no matter what I did, streams of grain fell to the earth and vanished, blown deep, deep cracks. The bag grew, the bag grew lighter. I'm going to sob as my despair overwhelmed me. I dropped to my knees to claw at the concrete, hoping against the hope to retrieve what had been lost, but all I could do was grind my hands until they were nothing but bloody stumps. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Jesus Christ. Beautiful. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> oh, we're, we're buzzing. What the, what, what, what the fuck? What is this music? What the fuck? I, I had a dream. <laughs> Martin Luther King's poem? <laughs> <laughs> what is these noises? I'm scared! Ah! <laughs> Hi, Afro. I couldn't stay asleep. I'm resident waking me up all night. I need some fresh air and someone to talk to. And besides, I think I kind of owe it to you. And you're a person too. You're as much as part of this as we are. Just because you're on the outside looking in doesn't mean you aren't important to us. You're... You're important to me. I, I don't know how to explain this. You're my true companion, Afro. Are we, is, are we are we going down a self cessed route? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! How is it self cessed? It's, it it's the zero route I always wanted. <laughs> it's just called self care zero. It's the zero route I've always wanted. <laughs> it's how I'm designed. Everything I see, you see. My consciousness is intertwined with your own. Y you gave me my name. The name I've carried since I was a child. The name Sayori called me every day as we grew up together. I remember it all so clearly. I'm connected to you, Afro. I know that's kind of weird. Believe me, it's not the fate I would have chosen. It's pretty cruel when you think about it, right? How terrible it is. To know that you exist only to be a hollow vessel. But, even so, I'm so glad I have you, Afro. I'm eternally grateful. Because no matter what happens, you'll always be part of who I am. And that, that's meaningful to me. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. I wish you would say something back. But I'm sure you have a good reason to be quiet. However, <laughs> I have to wonder something. It's been on my mind for a while now. Afro, where did you find this game? This isn't some ordinary piece of programming. I've been looking through the game files. Something here is wrong. A great power rests, awaiting resurrection. Oh. So in a game that has imprisoned the souls of four girls, I have to ask, who are you? I don't expect an answer, but I'd give anything to know. Um, <coughs> I am, I, 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 we are Venom. <laughs> no, my back. No. Oh no, Monica's back. I'm coming, Monica. <laughs> my back really hurts again, like earlier. Why does it hurt? I don't know. I, like, the top part of my back is just really hurting. I don't know why. Did it feel better when you were when you stretched it? <coughs> Not really, no. <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> like the way you said it. Not really, no. <laughs> when I cough, it really hurts. So maybe I. Maybe because I'm like hunching over while I'm coughing. I think I'm getting sick. Possibly. Someone says this is how Afro Zero became to be. A man named Afro and a man named Zero became companions. <laughs> they became so intertwined that they became one man. And that man is me. Yep. We are Afro Zero. 
<laughs> Do Doc says posture. No, it's not my posture. It's just I'm coughing really hard. I think that's why. No, it probably is because you said it hurt after you coughed. Yeah. You probably like I said you probably pulled something. Damn it. <laughs> Nazis put on you zero was best girl earlier when I said that after a zero route. <laughs> No. <laughs> we are Gogeta! <laughs> I am not Afro nor Zero! I am Afro Zero! <laughs> <laughs> How long is this demo, Natsuki? <laughs> this demo is short, is it? Natsuki, how long do I have left? <laughs> yeah, now we wait for Natsuki's answer. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm hitting myself. Why? Why are you why are you abusing yourself? I'm making music! <laughs> You're abusing yourself! No, I'm not! Yes, you are! No, I'm not! You are! She said this may be a two-parter unless you want to rush another hour or so. Oh god, yeah, we should just oh end it god. here. <laughs> it's yeah. been two hours and twenty. Alright, well, anyway. Um what I'll probably mm hmm. Cause I'm like, I'm sitting here. Cause I'm like, I'm sitting here and I'm like, what do I want to do? Cause I'm saying, I'm like, do we want to just keep this as a stream mod or do we want to like record the rest of it? I mean, what else do we have to record? There's a lot, we have a list. <laughs> we do? Yeah, we do. The list is still there. The only problem with keeping it a stream mod is people are going to be like, well shit, now they're going to have to wait till like next week. We're gonna have to wait till next week for the next thing to happen. That's my only problem with doing a stream. I mean, we could make, we could continue it on during the weekday, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> or like tomorrow. <laughs> so, no. No. Alright, so like what Tuesday? <laughs> sure. Monday. No, I'll, I'll give you the updates. <laughs> I'll feel like you guys. I'll tell you guys when. Anyway. I'll tell you what I do. You'll feel, we'll figure out what I do with it. Unless you do two mods like you do with Purist. Well, see, that's the thing, Blue Demo. Only reason why you can wait for Purist is because Purist wasn't that good. No one was really sitting there saying, Man, I wonder what's going to happen next on Purist. <laughs> I don't think anyone was sitting there saying that. It was more like, Ugh, Purist. Ugh, Purist. Well, this one, I'm pretty sure people actually want to know what's going to happen next. So I might just like stream the next. There might just be another stream at some point, play like soon, <laughs> which will be this. Cause there's still a summertime. I still have to upload summertime's true ending, which is what you're getting tomorrow. And then, so yeah, I'm probably just do that. So yeah, uh, thank you everyone for coming out to the stream. I appreciate it. For the people watching on YouTube, thank you. <laughs> We stopping? Yeah, we're stopping. It's been two hours and 22 minutes, and Natsuki said it's gonna be about another hour, so yeah, we're not doing that. Anyway, yeah, thank everyone for watching. Thank you everyone who followed and donated and gave bits and cheered, I guess. That's what it's called. It's called cheering. <laughs> yeah. And for people watching YouTube, if you want to play this for yourself, the link is in the description down below. And yeah, this has been Zero. Peace. I'm a chef